In this video, we're going to take a look at this problem. We're going to maximise p equals x plus 2y, subject to x plus y is less than or equal to 10, and 2x take away y is greater than or equal to minus 6, where x and y are greater than or equal to 0. Now, at first glance, this problem shouldn't really cause us too many problems. Um, and instinctively, if you've gone through the rest of the videos and you're comfortable with simplex algorithm, then you'll probably be looking at this inequality going, ah, it's a greater than or equal to, it's going to be a two-stage simplex problem. However, the thing about this inequality is that the origin, 0, 0, still satisfies this inequality because 2 lots of 0 take away 0 is, of course, 0, which is greater than minus 6. So the origin satisfies that. So that means that the origin is within the feasible region. So actually, although this looks like a two-stage problem, I can change it a little bit by multiplying through by minus 1. So minus 2x plus y is now less than or equal to 6. OK, so I've just multiplied that inequality through by minus 1. And that flips the direction of the inequality symbol, of course. And now we've got a one-stage simplex problem. So something that looks like it could be two-stage because of the greater than or equal to may well be a one-stage problem, or could be done using a one-stage problem, uh, one-stage method, rather, um, just by changing that inequality. So let's run this through. So we're going to maximise p equals x plus 2y. So we're going to have p minus x minus 2y is equal to 0. x plus y is less than or equal to 10. So x plus y uh, plus s1 is equal to 10. So adding in a slack variable. Then we're going to have minus 2x plus y plus s2 is equal to 6. And then, of course, we've got x, y, s1, and s2 are all greater than or equal to 0. OK. So let's set up the initial tableau. p, x, y, s1, s2, right-hand side. And we're going to have 1, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 0, 0. Then this one, we've got 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 10. Then this one, we've got 0, minus 2, 1, 0, 1, 6. OK. Right, well, we'll look for the most negative in the top row, which is the minus 2. Then do the ratio test, 10 divided by 1. It's 10. 6 divided by 1 is 6. So that one gives me the smaller amount. So I'll use that one as my pivot. So 4, 5, 6. And I don't need to do anything to number 6. It's just the same as number 3. So we're going to have 0, minus 2, 1, 0, 1, 6. OK. So if I do row 1 and add on two lots of row 6. I'm going to have 1 plus 2 lots of 0, minus 1 plus 2 lots of minus 2, so that'd be minus 5, minus 2 plus 2 lots of 1 is 0 by design, 0 plus 2 lots of 0, 0 plus 2 lots of 1, 0 plus 2 lots of 6. Okay. Then uh, I need to subtract that one, so I'm going to have row 2, take away row 6. So 0 take away 0, 1 take away minus 2 is 3, 1 take away 1 is 0, 1 take away 0 is 1, 0 take away 1 is minus 1, 10 take away 6 is 4. OK, well we're not quite done because we've got a negative in the top row. So row 7, 8 and 9. So we'll be using this one as my pivot column. So ratio test, 4 divided by 3 is 4 thirds. But 6 divided by minus 2 I can ignore because I don't want to be dividing by a negative number. So I'm going to use this one as my pivot. 
So row 8 is going to be row 5 divided by 3. OK, so we've got 0 divided by 3, 3 divided by 3, 0 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3, minus 1 divided by 3, and 4 divided by 3. OK, right, then I need to get rid of that minus 5. So I'm going to do row 4 plus 5 lots of row 8. So 1 plus 5 lots of 0. Minus 5 plus 5 lots of 1 is 0. 0 plus 5 lots of 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 lots of 5 thirds, sorry, 0 plus 5 lots of a third is 5 thirds. Then we've got 2. Uh, take away 5 thirds. Well, that's 6 thirds. So take away 5 thirds will leave me with 1 third. Right, now I'm just going to have to end up using the calculator. Uh, we've got 12 plus 5 lots of four thirds, and that's 56 thirds. Okay, right, for this row, I'm going to have, so row six, and I'm gonna to need to add on two lots of row eight. Okay, so zero plus two lots of zero. Minus two plus two lots of one is zero. One plus two lots of zero is one. Zero plus two lots of a third is two thirds. One plus two lots of minus a third is one take away two thirds, which is a third. And then six uh, plus two lots of four thirds is 26 thirds. OK, so there are no more negatives in the top row, so I am done. So the maximum value of P is 56 thirds, where X is four thirds and y is 26 thirds, okay? Now just double check that, so substitute the x and y into that. We get 4 thirds plus 2 lots of 26 thirds, and that's the 56 thirds, okay? Now S1 and S2 are both zero, okay? And we are done. So you can see how uh, what looked like initially a two-stage problem actually became a one-stage problem and simplified the process down for us.